Hey everybody, this is Jamie Pate. Welcome to the channel and to this video and welcome to Creative Kindness Week. So what is Creative Kindness Week? Well, it's inspired by scrapbook.com and they're donating of every order this week to the Creative Kindness Foundation. And part of the Creative Kindness Foundation includes Cards for Kindness. So what is Cards for Kindness? Cards for Kindness is this initiative where scrapbook.com collects handmade cards from all kinds of card makers from all over the world. And then they distribute them to charitable organizations or to medical facilities and hospitals and any kind of center foundation who could use those cards. And so this week and all the time, it's not just this week, it's just this week, scrapbook.com and I have some ideas here to help with this initiative is just highlighting this really beautiful and outstanding um, activity that we all get to be a part of. So I'm gonna encourage you to create something this week for Cards for Kindness. And this video is here to bring you some inspiration just for that. Today was just released at scrapbook.com, this newest Cards for Kindness stamp set. It's called Sunshine, as you can tell. It has an emphasis on sunshine with the sun, rainbows, a hello, some great sentiments, thinking of you, just a note, one day at a time, sending you love, and then some really fun icons to surround that as well as that flower there. And so today, the goals of this video today is number one, to not only show my cards that I have made, for Cards for Kindness, but to encourage you to make some cards also. And part of today's goal is just using the stamp set. I kind of veer off of this in a, in a tutorial I'm doing today, but the emphasis for me when I was making quite a few cards was to stick with this um, stamp set to make that happen. So some very minimalist cards I have to share with you today. But the reason for that is the third thing that is the goal today is to show how easy it is to use a singular stamp set and to create some variations on a theme. So let me share those variations on a theme with you right now. I'm going to actually I'm gonna open up this screen here so that I'm set aside my tutorial. Here's my cards, but I want to keep the stamp set up here so that you can see where these different pieces came from. Like I said, I kept this really minimal with the idea being there's, I believe if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly and I might need to go and read the instructions again, the idea is to send at least 10 cards. They could be all the same cards. They could be five of the same, five each of the same cards. It could be any combinations of cards you want to send. The article in which I will link here will explain all the details that I am sure to forget because I refer to that page quite often. But I have started my first bundle of 10 here. That is the next set of cards to go out. And I want to share those with you. I really want to emphasize the very doability of these cards. So for example, this one here, I'm using the love and the send you. I stamped the heart and then I embossed it to just give it a little bit extra texture and then I popped I cut it out I, th there is a die set that is now available for the stamp set at the time I did I don't have it currently so I just went ahead and fussy cut my heart out you can see here you might if you are hanging out here on this channel much you might recognize this moda scrap die cut I just wanted to kind of pop it up and give it some interest so what do we do here so we we die cut the postage stamp shape then I actually set that inside of my stamping platform and I stamped sending you and love. And these are for the most part, the colors that I stayed with. And there's a black in there. I'm looking really quick. Oh, I also threw in here this rusty hinge, but I kind of stayed with these same ink colors. I also stayed with some papers, but I've, again, I'm going to kind of segue off of that today. So that's how card one was made. Uh, using that same idea, I cut a larger moda scrap postage shape and on it I stamped the thinking of you. I also stamped on a separate piece of paper the flower plus the flower middle, embossed them both, and yes I 
fussy cut both of those out. And then using some of the charming paper, which is also a paper from scrapbook.com, I just used this little flag here. And this became the whole card here. I created a flap so that this was the card front. So I thought it was important in a way for me, because I can get really layered up, but I didn't want things to fall off my card. I didn't want things, I didn't. I don't know if they're using the envelopes. I don't know exactly how things get to the recipient. So I was just, as a disclaimer here, I was wanting to keep these in such a way that things weren't gonna get knocked off. There weren't gonna be a lot of layers and that my card was gonna make it intact to its recipient. I hope that made sense because you've seen me make cards on here and I like to layer it up because very often I'm handing a card to a person. I'm not sending them in the mail. These are very mailable cards. Plus cards that you could send to, of course, Cards for Kindness, what we're here about today. So here again, I, I made a panel for my card front. This card opens like this. I made a panel for it and trimmed it slightly smaller than the A2. I stamped the Sending You. I stamped all of the sun and I stamped the sunshine with uh, the different stamp inks. Then I stamped again the sun and then I believe I used a one inch paper punch, circle punch to pop that out and I popped it up on the card so it has a little bit of height. It's on there very secure. That was my thing that I was wanting to be very uh, particular about, that these were very secure. So in a way, these three cards here were a variation on a theme. They're all paneled, they have a singular icon that's popped up, and everything else is stamped flat. That is my, <laughs> that is my variation on theme. Now these next cards here use a little bit more paper. And again, I'm using the Charming Paper Collection from scrapbook.com. So you can see here, I cut this out. I wanted to, I just used a circle die to cut out this little dip here because I wanted the stamped part to be shown. And then I just stamped on the hello, the sunshine, and some of the icons that you can see here on this stamp set are also part of this. That was just a fun, kind of freehand thing to do. And then again, this card opens up like this. I like the idea of these cards sitting up like this for the recipient to be able to see them straight on. Not all of them are like that. I might have some that open on the side. Again, one inch punched paper circles. I love mixing the patterns. That is a fun thing for me to do. Then I just use just a note after I sewed on the, um, the circles and that card is done. Same idea here. This is the same idea where it's a larger circle and I put it on the edge and trimmed off two sides of it. Then I also separately stamped the sentiment right here on the top and added that there. So another idea here, I think these are next ones use more square linear shapes. So I had four different, um, this is literally from scraps of paper because you see me create a with this charming collection on my channel an album. So I had lots of scraps going on. So for this one, I just it didn't matter to me what these sizes were. It was the pattern kind of was I was wanting like the florals to be opposite from one another. I have this dot and then I have a solid here. And on the solid, I stamped one of the hearts. Um, this one here, and I did not emboss it. I just left it flat. And then again, I stamped a sentiment and trimmed it out and it's popped up on it. Same idea here, right? Another square, another piece of scrap that I stapled on kind of looks like a tab, just kind of a DIY tab and then stamped the hello sentiment separate and popped it on very secure, lots of double-sided adhesive foam. So these are not going anywhere and same idea. Lots of scraps, three different scraps, kind of use the sewing machine idea here. With the thinking of you, it's, again, there's a die set for this now, but I just fussy cut that out and I called these good. So I have nine cards just like that. It's super fun to challenge yourself to keep it, number one, really simple. It's super fun to challenge yourself, number two, to stay with a single stamp set and to just stay with a single um, pattern paper collection as well. Okay, so I showed you all these cards that are variations on a theme, and now I'm going off the rails because that's just kind of something that I do. So I have a background paper here that I've inked with Tattered Rose and Antique Linen Distress Stains. And so that was just done. Just a real simple, easy background. Talk about that a lot here on the channel. And then I had some other kind of random papers that I've that are backgrounds that I've just played with colors. And so I've used that and I die cut out these hearts. This is from Heffy Doodle. It's my it's a called whole lot of hearts. It's one of my most favorite heart sets. It's like 12 hearts. It's crazy. So I have that 
at the ready. I pulled these flowers were die cut a long time ago and I keep them in a stack and sort tray and I think I might use them but we'll see we'll see. So you can see I'm kind of going a little bit more elevated with this card because I just want to share and have a little bit of fun and do some stuff here with you guys. So I have this uh, vintage label from Tim Holtz and I cut out this um, piece of wood paper here in the background. I had this ticket already at the ready I don't even know what it's from. It kind of feels like it might be washi tape that I might have put on some paper and then I uh, used probably paper rose tickets and cut that out. And I thought that would be kind of some fun layers. So I'm not going to go super crazy with layers, but I did think it was going to be um, a little fun to just kind of go a little, a little extra with some layers. So I've got all this sitting here inside of the stamp platform because I'm going to do the sending love or what is it called? It is sent, yeah, it's sending you. And then we're going to also stamp the love. So I think I shall use... Okay, I was looking for the vintage photo uh, ink. So here I have it. And I'm going to use that for my sentiment inking. I think it kind of goes well with being a contrast to what else is going on here on the page. And kind of matching as well. So I'm just going to do that one time. I will clean those when we're all done. I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. I don't think I need it on here anymore. I was just wanting to get that around my circle label that I had created. Okay, so I have used the scrapbook.com mixed media paper, the tattered rose, and I have ink blended this onto here so that I have um, a little bit of color on the paper that is going to be my love sentiment. And it's probably, it's bigger than what I need it to be, but we'll just trim it down. And this is basically the only stamping we'll need. So we've used two stamps from this sunshine set. And I think you could get so much mileage from the stamp set. But it's for sure great inspiration for these cards for kindness as well. All right, so I just wanna trim this down I don't need it to be this wide. I love being able though to take the ink and a blending brush and crafting my own paper, if you will, my own background. Um, you can see too that right now, kind of, I, I kind of do this, maybe you do too. I'm just in this mode of kind of doing this inking like over and over again on just different kind of um, mediums. So I'm loving that. I'm enjoying that right now. Okay, I just want to trim this down. I didn't need it quite as big as it was. So that's what we are doing here. And then I'm probably going to do what I always do and notch the end. I just am a fan of that. This is going to work for me until it doesn't. That's just kind of how I feel about that. Okay. Then I don't need that to be that long. And I just got to kind of measure it up to this here. And I might even need it. Oh, I don't know. So then kind of coming along here, figuring out where I want these other pieces to go as well. So I'm just going to basically be filling this in. Probably actually going to trim this up just a bit more. Make sure you don't smudge it. I just smudged mine a little bit. Make sure you let that ink dry before messing with it too much. I did not set a good example. All right, here I am with the foam adhesive. The square is going to get this guy, this one ready. Actually, I'm just going to do one here for now, kind of on this end, because I know I'm going to want to tuck some things underneath here. I will go ahead and actually, I was going to grab for the dot adhesive, but since these are cards for kindness since i know they're going to probably be be handled a couple of times i'm going to bring in the help of double-sided adhesive tape to really hold these down i'm not going to elevate my label it's going to go flat on the background on my card whoops let's straighten up that um grain on my card base here and that's kind of a thing I've been doing is with these is doing a lot of flat embellishing and at the risk of repeating myself again and just in case 
that isn't understood. I just, I don't want things to go flying off. So I'm kind of going a little bit different in this approach than what I would normally do if it was something, if it was a card that I was going to hand deliver, if it was going to be part of a, of a, um, birthday gift. So that's what I'm thinking here in case you're wondering what she's thinking here. And then I am going to kind of, you know, go back to my typical way of just adding some layers in. And you saw here the paper that I had made. It just makes for some really fun backgrounds when you're die cutting them out again. I was kind of excited when I realized, oh, this is going to be so fun for some different texture here. So I'm going to come in here with the small, this one millimeter uh, foam so it can just kind of sit right here on this heart. If I can get it off my finger. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So now to decide, I don't know that I'm going to even want to add the flowers. I might not. And I had the pearl pops of color for the center, but I don't think I need that. I'm going to just add this last heart here to here. And with the idea of it still, for me, if I hung it down here, it seems really disconnected. If I bring it up here and it's still kind of hovering over that background label, I feel like it's sort of connected to the clustering going on here. So that's just a, one example of being able to add some clusters to a card for kindness card. <laughs> And then I'm going to add this to a card backing. I'm actually probably going to elevate this. I'm actually probably going to read. If you, if you notice this later, I'm probably going to re-ink this because I have that smudge there. But you get an idea for sure. And what you could do, you could come along here with some of these dots and just add some pearl marks. I would add one here and here. The little one here, and just something like the something like this just adds just some fun more texture. And that one got a little big, but that's okay. And then what I'm going to come do is come up underneath here and tap my paper so that they kind of flatten out a little bit and look more pearl-like instead of frosting-like. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying there. This one got a little too tall, so just mess with that a little bit. And that's just one way to make a card for Cards for Kindness. I think it's a pretty simple card, but yet you still get to play with your um, textures, right? That's always a fun, or, or your layers rather. That's always a fun thing. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please click through to the articles about Creative Kindness Week and Cards for Kindness. It's a beautiful initiative, it's something we can so easily be a part of and brings joy, love, and light, and encouragement to someone's life. Thank you so much.